Hi, I'm Rhonda J, and thank you so much for watching this tutorial on how to add a header banner to your blog on blogger.com. So, you have created your blog. Now it's time to give it a design that will grab your reader's attention at first click. An easy way to add some personality to your blog is to add a pretty header banner and customize the colors of your blog to match. In this video, I will be using a pre-made header banner from Rhonda's Blog Shop, which is one of my shops on Etsy. If you do not have a banner, you can purchase one, or you can use a program like Pixlr.com to create your own, and that is Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R.com. Also for this tutorial, I will be using Blogger's simple template design. In my opinion, this template is the easiest and quickest Blogger template to customize. It kind of reminds me of having a fresh canvas you can use to create your own little work of art. To upload your header banner, log in to your blog's dashboard. Once you log into your blog's dashboard, you will go to the little arrow icon over here and click to display a drop down menu. Then select Layout. On the layout screen, click Edit over here. Before I upload the file for my banner, I'm going to make an adjustment to the settings. For the banner I am using, I don't need Blogger to display the title or description, so I'm going to click here to select Instead of Title and Description. I'm also going to make sure that the Shrink to Fit option isn't selected. Now I'm going to select Browse and locate my banner file to upload. Then I'm going to click the orange Save button. Let's go take a look at the front of the blog to see the new banner. After I refresh the screen, you will see the new banner display. Okay, now it's time to customize the colors to match the ones used in the banner. I'm going to return to my dashboard and go to the template designer. The template designer allows you to customize colors and a few other features. Let's take a quick look at some of the features you can customize using the template designer. Under background, you have the option to add an image, and with some templates, you can also change the background color. You can also adjust the width of your entire blog or sidebar area. There are also layout options for the body and footer. You have options for a one, two, or three column layout, and for the body layout, you also can choose to have your sidebar placed on the left or right side of your blog. The advanced section is where I will customize the colors. As changes are made, they will be displayed in the preview section at the bottom of the screen. The first colors I'm going to customize will be for the date header. I would like to make the text darker and remove the gray background. In the option list, I will select the date header. Notice when I select the date header, a red dotted box displays in the preview to let me know this is the feature being changed. To make the text darker, I will select the dark gray box here. And to remove the background, I will select the white box over here. Next, I will customize the post title. For the post title, I can change the font style and size. I also have the option to make the text bold or italic. I prefer to have the post title font to match that of the header banner, so I will use unkempt for the font style and increase the font size to make it easier to read. To change the color of the post title, I need to go to Links. Under Links, I can change the main link color and the visited color. The visited color is the color a link changes after it is clicked. I can also change the hover color, which is the color a link changes when the mouse is moved over it. For the main color, I'm going to use the red from the header banner. 
To do this, I will select this shade of red here and then use the color slider to adjust to the brighter shade used in the banner. I'm going to use the same shade of red for the visited color, so I'm just going to copy the color code over. For the hover color, I will use the dark shade of gray here. I have one more quick change to make before moving on to the sidebar. I will remove the gray background from the post footer. Okay, so everything is looking good. Now on to the sidebar gadgets. For the sidebar gadgets, I'm going to change the font style to unkempt like I did for the post title. I'm going to unbold the text and also increase the size. This will make it easier to read. This time, I'm going to have the color match the turquoise blue color from the banner. I'm going to start off by selecting this bold color here and then adjust it. Now, I would like to change these small arrow bullets here to blue as well. So, I'm going to copy the color over here to alternate. Let's get our changes saved by clicking the orange Apply to Blog button up here. Now that I have finished customizing the colors, I'm going to return to the front of my blog and view all of the changes I have made. I now have a pretty blog design that I am pleased with. Now it's your turn. Go add some personality to your blog. As always, I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.